We move on then to a rider from Hong Kong, China. This is Chung Wing Lung. It's unusual to see actually these riders where you can see the shoes uh, got so used to the matching over shoes to help with the aerodynamics. Riders like uh, Brad Wickens and others who've made their overshoes reach almost up to their knees because they know that it cuts down the drag. That's why they've been outlawed, particularly on indoor tracks. And they'll actually be looked at by the commissars on the uh, road events as well if the weather doesn't suggest that uh, the riders should be wearing them. 20 uh, seconds to go coming up now. This rider takes the last few deep breaths to make sure plenty of oxygen in the body ready for the starting effort. <laughs> Chun Wing Lung with the uh, power meter again underneath the saddle. As you can see, slightly lower gear than the riders we've seen so far, so Looks like this uh, rider is going to use a higher cadence to tr try and set the fastest time. And already looks like he's on the top of the gear. Does that translate to speed? The answer is no. 20.030. So well over a second and a half slower than the Japanese rider in the opening 250 metres. Let's see whether he's faster at 500. The answer is no. Fourth fastest so far. The head rocking and rolling all over the place. You can tell that this rider is under pressure. To the bell, 49.621. Still the fourth fastest rider so far. So the choice of gear not right. Got the hands right close together. So the aerodynamics at the front with the hands are not too bad, but the head's all over the place. 15.078 picks up a little bit. Beats the time of the Spaniard Aliaga and goes third fastest with an average speed of 55.318 kilometres an hour.